So I thought I'd do a video since I'm at a good point here about um, timing chain and timing chain wear and its effects on valve timing and um, ignition timing. And it's even a bigger problem with these uh, fuel injected motors because where the computer thinks that the motor is at is actually not where it's at in actuality. So generally you have some running issues when that happens. So when you get a sloppy timing chain the first thing that you'll notice is it just it idles the idle quality goes down as you can see here this timing chain has about enough slop to move that all the way that way which is about I'd imagine eight degrees of timing if this were marked so we'll get this back to top dead center we can kind of get a look here the whole view and I'll turn this still isn't turning the distributor and now it just turned it so it moved it from that center point there all the way to there so the valves are that late so you already have extremely late valve timing along with ignition timing so something to be leery of so we'll spin the motor over here and we'll get an idea what's going on this is about how much movement in the chain when you have that much play in your valve timing so you can see that there's quite a bit and this motor had about a hundred thousand miles on it so you can see that if I were to run this motor um, I would have to change a timing chain if I wanted things to work properly and as I said again this is especially important in fuel injected motors. Carbureted motors can handle stuff like that pretty well but fuel injected motors definitely will start to see some dramatically adverse effects. So, Okay so this is a bit better of a view where you can really see what's going on. So you'll see that when the distributor or when the uh, engine is turned back on itself here so we'll turn it to a point to where the distributor moves. All right, now we're going to rotate the motor and see just how much rotation, so we're straight up right now, just how much rotation it takes to move that gear. About that much, so about two clicks on the ratchet over. And as I mentioned before, we can see that it moves a whole just about five to eight degrees on the timing mark. So quite a significant change there. So anyway, moral of the story is change your timing chain. If your motor starts running bad and you have a fuel injected motor from the late 80s, early 90s, that is the first place I would go to. So that's pretty much what was wrong with this motor. So, anywho, there you have it.